it's time for another review and this time I'm going to review the movie Transformers 1 so I'm going to start with the summary and what I like about this movie and what I don't like about this movie and then my final score so start with the summary this movie is a what do you call that a reboot of the Transformers franchise by the Hasbro Studios that owns the right to the Transformers name so they relaunched this movie and it is like a reboot of everything so that's the summary what do I like about this movie okay I like that it's a reboot of the franchise so we can ignore all the Transformers done by Michael Bay which I don't like uh, I only like the first Transformers but the others I just tolerate so this movie is a new fresh start on the origins of the uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron everything this is the origin movie. That's why they call it Transformers 1. Okay. I didn't know anything about this movie. So when I went in, I learned all of this interesting, um, what they are trying to do, which is restart the movie. Okay. The children will love this movie. Children will love this movie because it's colorful. It's all cartoon, 3D cartoon and it's suitable for children uh, that is the good point that I noticed during this movie uh, what else do I like? oh I like they put in a lot of money they hired Scarlett Johansson to play uh, a female character, female robot during this time they, are, they don't have names yet they don't have like Autobot or Decepticon they don't have names yet you know even Optimus Prime his name was it's not optimus prime and so is bumblebee this is bumblebee but bumblebee has a different name when, when this movie starts and yes another good point that i like about this movie the reboot says optimus prime and megatron used to be good friends so i was surprised they are good friends from the start and then this movie shows how they become enemy you know, okay, those are the good things about this movie. So it's a, something as a new franchise, new start, and I like it. Okay, what's bad about the movie? What's bad about the movie is the storyline, the writing is very bad. What I mean by that is like they, uh, they have accidental uh, storyline. Accidental mean things happen because of accident if that accident doesn't happen then the story maybe die like that so like for example they meet with uh, bumblebee this guy also by accident like they fell into a a, 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 a place underneath cybertron underneath this planet and then they meet with bumblebee so that happened by accident and also that's the one thing that I don't like about that kind of writing. That is lazy kind of writing. Because you say by accident, then, then I mean, if that accident doesn't happen, it doesn't happen naturally. So, okay. Another thing that I don't like is also after they meet Bumblebee by accident, they also find out about this um, power matrix or something that kind of power the planet also by accident. Because... One of the toys that Bumblebee keep in his place suddenly cough up. I mean, that something dropped from that robot, from the toys. And then that chip revealed the position of the like power metric or something. So everything is by accident. Like he accidentally revealed the map. So those two things I don't like about the writing. Okay. Another thing that happens to me during this movie I actually f had a nap. I almost fell asleep about 5 minutes, something like that, or 10 minutes. Because the middle part is boring. 
the middle part is very boring. So I was thinking, I suddenly I was, I, I, I was like, hey, wake up, wake up, you know. It's kind of boring in the middle part because after they found out about the matrix, they went to search for it, then they discovered the truth about what's going on into the planet. And it's nothing big. It's nothing big. This movie doesn't have like a big villain or like a big reveal. The only good thing you want to focus on is how Optimus Prime and his friend, his good friend, Megatron become enemies. So that is the reveal that in this movie. So I think that is the goal, is to reveal, to introduce this character. And they don't kill each other. They, like, they, they used to be friends, but somehow Megatron becomes, like, evil at the end. You know, suddenly. So, like I said, it's accidental. But I do like Scarlett Johansson. I don't know her character in the law. So, like I said, it's a reboot. So, in the future, hopefully they get Scarlett Johansson, which is good. And the guy playing um, Mega, uh, Optimus Prime is Chris Hemsworth. So, they put a lot of money into the characters. And Bumblebee is fun. Bumblebee has the best weapon. I, I like this kind of Bumblebee. So, the movie is like a, a good reboot. Then the Michael Bay. I don't like the Michael Bay and everything. But I, 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 I'm okay with this movie, you know. I say it's a good for kids. The product, okay, my score. Now it turns for the score. The good, the bad is the script and the score. Okay, before I give the score, this movie is good for children. Kids, young kids, they love toys. They love the Transformer toys. This is a good movie. It has a good message also. But for adults, for adults like me, it caused me to go to sleep because the script is very lazy and I don't like that kind of accidental accidentally they found this and accidentally they meet this and i don't like that kind so my score for this movie even though the critics love it but for me i love only part that is a refresh reboot i like that part other than that the story is mediocre to me and my score for this movie i give it a seven out of ten it's still a high score but i give it a high score because it's a reboot it's better to clean to so start over again rather than continue what Michael Bay has done. I don't like at all those movies. So, but this one is a good start. That is my review for Transformers 1. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, please follow for more reviews. Thank you guys. Peace.